What we're gonna look at today are some ways to customize your Gmail. So here we have a Seymour Live email account. And we're gonna go through and do some quick customizations. First of all, we'll go up here to our gear setting. And then in gears, the fun thing to do is go ahead and set your theme. Right here we have the basic theme set, but I'm gonna customize it. So I'm gonna view all and see all of the, the themes that are available. There are some images here. I can click on more images. And then I could pick a image that I would like to have, some green grass. Click select. And then you will notice now my email is customized with a theme. If you don't like that, you can go back in and you can go ahead and change your theme to anything you would like. Again, if you wanted to set it just to a specific color or whatever you would be interested in, you can set your theme and then hit save. So go ahead, experiment, and pick a theme. Next, we're gonna go through and organize your email. Right now, this email account, all of the emails are going right into the same spot. And sometimes it can be a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna go into the settings and then I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at see all settings. And when we look at see all settings, we have all kinds of options here. And one of the things that we need to make sure we do in this area is we have to go through and make sure we hit save. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to inbox. And then here on inbox, I'm gonna go ahead and click primary, social, promotions, updates, and forms. And what this does is Gmail will be get good at seeing your emails and then organize these into different tabs. I'm gonna go ahead and click on save changes. Now notice across the top, I have these different tabs. So primary is gonna be where things are gonna go. You're gonna find a lot of your Google Classroom updates will go here under updates. And if you wanted to move it so it doesn't go into updates, but goes into your primary, all you would need to do is click that email, drag it into primary, and then it's gonna say conversations. Do you wanna do that for those accounts in the future? I'm gonna say yes. And then you'll go through and you'll see your emails here. One of the reasons you want to get that is it just keeps your emails organized. So go ahead, go into your gears, see all settings, inbox, and check those. Another great feature to do in your settings is to go through and get your signature line. A signature is going to be what is at the bottom of the email, you don't have to type every time. This email right here doesn't have a signature line, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one. And when you create a new signature line, the first thing you have to do is actually name what this is gonna be. And I'm just gonna call it signature. That names it, now I actually need to create it. So right here I would go ahead and type in my first and last name. And then sometimes people like to go ahead and put their email address below it. And then when you were all done with that, you can actually go through and format the font if you wanted. Um, you could go ahead and change the size and do any other of those customizations. You want to make sure that you keep it um, clean and neat, but that way your name is always at the bottom. And then you're going to go ahead and hit Save Changes. You will know your signature works when you go ahead and click on compose an email. If you go ahead and type in who the, le the email is going to, and then you always need to include um, a subject line. So you will notice Right here it says, easily switch between different signatures. So we can go here if we wanted to. Right now we have no signature selected. I'm gonna go ahead and do signature. You'll see it gets added to the bottom. Now if you don't always want to have that, to choose between them, if you go under your settings, when you look at your signature line, um, for new emails, right here it says no signature. I'm gonna say, Okay, when I create a new email, my default signature is gonna be that one, and when I reply or forward, my signature is gonna be on there. So then I'm gonna go ahead and save changes. 
new email again, notice that signature line appears in the bottom. You don't have to choose it. So it's always a good idea to go through and add the signature line and have it set as default to send. Those are a couple new modifications and changes that you can do to your email.